In the 90s, Playmates Toys made the deepest line of Star Trek action figures in history. My name's Keith, and I'm a collector working towards owning all 284. I've been a Trek fan for almost 35 years, and most people are sick of me talking about it. But somehow I've convinced my old friend Mike to review them with me on... Look at my Star Trek toys! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Look at My Star Trek Toys. It is an exciting season for Star Trek Toys because the Playmates 2022 line is out, sort of. They're not available in stores yet that I'm aware of, but you can find them on Amazon and other sources. And uh, Mike, you, once again, of your own accord, have gone on and ordered this uh, we have, haven't gotten our screeners from Playmates yet, but you're like, you know what? I can't wait. I'm going to order this. And today, the universe dropped you a little nugget. It did, Keith. I, I went and purchased the uh, Saru figure, which we unboxed last week on the channel. I haven't checked it mm -hmm. out yet. Make sure to check it out. Uh, mm. And we gave it two slightly scaled up thumbs. This week, uh, in that so anyway, in that Amazon box, I guess whoever was in the Amazon warehouse where this was shipped to me just saw, saw Star Trek Universe and made a mistake, or, as I like to think about it, didn't make a mistake. Decided to make somebody's day, because in my box, Keith, was not just the Saru figure, but also something we probably wouldn't have ordered on, I wouldn't have ordered on my own accord, because we kind of stick to the figurines in this. It was... Keith, it's the phaser. They sent you a phaser, so somebody tried to make your day, and somewhere out in the world, a little kid went to, ran down to the mailbox to open up his box, and, and it was inside a bidet. was no phaser. It was, a bidet. <laughs> it was a bidet that I ordered for my mom. <laughs> exactly. So uh, you ruined his bidet, but here you are, and you have your own classic Star Trek phaser from the Playmates line. Uh, we are going to open it, unbox it, review it here today. But before we do, we are going to make our pitch to you about our Patreon. Yes, we you are. can go to patreon.com slash K and M and get all sorts of fun bonus material, bonus episodes of, uh, of the Deep Space Nine show, reviewing uh, Next Generation shows. We have AMAs. We're going to have re uh, interviews with my older brother who worked on Star Trek. Going to be lots of fun stuff. Uh, and uh, you can join these fine folks that Mike are going to tell you about. Yeah, we've got our good friends, Brian Kaufman, Casey Clark, Cloud Lover 69, Jorge Navoa, and the mysterious Alan Zimmerman, CRM Productions, a good buddy, made our own figures, and... Indeed. Charles Babbage. Join them, patreon.com slash k and I believe it should be up by now. Uh, Keith and I watched the pilot episode of Star Trek, the animated series. So uh, get our That's thoughts right. on that. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, that. The freshest of thoughts, because neither one of us have seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, it was exciting. It was an exciting episode. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Because you you know you know we we record a few of these at a time yeah yep, yep. so it's a there's a, there's a whole time machine element happening uh, with our little show here but uh, Mike I am excited to get into this because I do not own nor have I ever owned one of the Playmates phasers not from Next Gen not the classic one and it feels weird because. I definitely want one, and certainly as a kid, that would have been number one. I could have shot my brother with it. That's mm -hmm. so much fun. Uh, so this is an interesting uh, toy here, because this is, unless I'm mistaken, basically a copy-paste of the original phaser from, uh, from the 90s, which I was, all of the other figures have been redone in some fashion. Um, and so I'm really curious to find out, all right, well, how was, was this just exactly the same thing or was it, uh, changed or, uh, amended in some fashion, um, from the, uh, from the original phaser, which I'm going to pull up on Wixaban and tell you a little bit more about. It is figure number 6118, the classic Star Trek phaser. Uh, so while you have the box there. And while we're talking about it, why don't we look at the original box? 
Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I've got my knife ready to go here. Uh, if you don't have no, a... No, 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 uh, the, the, the box from the Playmates, the, the 90s one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to... So oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's on this thing here, so here we go. Oh, I see. I'm you with see you. see what I'm saying? I'm seeing what you're saying. Oh. From 1994, because this is kind of remarkable, because as far as I can tell, it is exactly the same. It is, with the exception of... Well, let's see. That picture is clearly they've. Wow, well, that's, that's that's funny. They paid homage to it, but they kind of reshot, changed the angle. They changed the angle. Um, light them up. There's there's three bullets over there on the left versus two bullets here. Right. Light up adjustable beam emitter, and now it's just a light up beam emitter. So maybe did it lose its adjustment? Uh, in setup, the time, set phaser to full stun or overlord, oh, overload, over oh. <laughs> overlord. Oh my god! I wish it said overlord. <laughs> oh my! I would set your phasers to overlord. Oh my god! Hell yeah! Um, uh, so the classic one, it just has two sounds: mm -hmm. stun and I can't read that because it's too uh, pixelated. But not or overlord. And uh, Let's see if we but can the original one also came here. with a certificate of authenticity. It did, which this oh, does stun not. and higher settings. That's what it does. So no, so you get an overlord, but you do not get a certificate of authenticity. Um, obviously, you it is not numbered. You don't have the, the the sticker individually numbering each phaser that you got back in the '90s, and that is also true of all of the 2022 figures. They're no longer individually numbered like they were back in the but day. But here, Keith. Uh, thanks to the marketing department, and I guess it worked here. We do know we do know that it contains only one phaser, mm -hmm. and uh, requires two AA batteries. But hey, uh, don't say you don't get nothing for free these days. Batteries are included, which uh, was yeah. not something we got a lot in, back in the eighties and nineties. No, but that was Playmates always had the batteries included. And you, you want to know why, Mike? Why is that? Well, because they have the button, the hole in the box where you can actually hit the button and hear the noises. That was true of all of the ships and all of the props. So uh, talk about the box, uh, the box, the back of the box, Mike. Back of the box, which every, you, Keith, you know, I used to think you were just dyslexic, but no, doing this backwards is really hard. Uh, yeah, it's crazy hard. Captain's log, yeah, all three star lights. date. Hey, Keith, you know what? Why don't you do the dramatic reading this time? <clears throat> okay. I'll try to hold it still. Yeah, good luck with that. Captain's Log, Stardate 9401.01. Classic Phaser, unclassified. The Classic Phaser configuration consists of a Type 1 Phaser interlocked with a Type 2 Phaser body. The two phasers combine to create a powerful defensive weapon with minimal phase degradation. The Classic Phaser was standard issue to all officers in Starfleet. Designed around the Federation's policy of creating weapons for defensive purposes, the classic phaser is a prime example. Example is a prime oh example. Oh boy, folks! Ho ho ho! That's I have, to, I have to. I have to honor it. The classic phaser is a prime example of early Starfleet innovation. This classic phaser's simple yet highly effective design made it one of the most reliable weapons of its time. Highly powerful with adjustable settings, the classic of phaser was a paradigm for early portable defensive sidearms. All right, so we get a you know we get a one to one scale uh, look see of our phaser, the phaser power. It's a switch. pretty good example of a, of a phaser. Yeah, um, so we're gonna get into this. We'll take a look at the sides. Let's see if there's anything fun here. Yeah. Oop. And and. Uh, Oh, it has a wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. It does. Oh, I, I could have sworn it said Overlord over Zoom. It does look <laughs> like Overlord. It is not. It looks it so out. much like Over. And based on the uh, the copy editing of the back, I would totally believe that it might say Overlord. Now I'm just saying, folks. Had Playmates sent the preview copies before they shipped, we could have yeah, caught that told typo them. for you. I mean, uh, to be fair, if, uh, if people are catching typos on our show, we would never yeah, move forward. All right, so nothing too exciting on the box otherwise. So let's, uh, what do you say we jump in? Well, but before, let's look at the original back of the box and see if it's Did you have that up though. there too? I did. 
Let's mm. let's see if <laughs> no. let's see if this the typo is from the nineties. This the only other pick I saw. No, it's in there. All right, hold on. I, I swear it's in there, but I, I can I can just view it with my eyeballs and tell you if there's anything different. Uh, because now I'm I'm really curious to see whether it had that same typo. Because if I, I tell you what, if it was actually there and the typo was from the '90s and they kept it, that is like a chef's kiss of brilliant uh, marketing. Laser box. Oh, I got it. I got it. Here we go. Okay. Coming in. Coming in hot. Coming in back of the box. Coming in back of the box. So I thought. Maybe, hold on. I got to do it the old-fashioned way, folks. I'm so sorry. Uh, image. Oh, wait. Okay. Right. So I'm I'm looking at it, too. Let's see. Oh, me. come on. Tell me the typo was in there. Nope, that's not it either. It was. Powerful settings. Has a phase. It's a. Was the paradigm prime example? Nope. <laughs> they got it right. Oh, that's 90s. crazy town. Well, and you know what it was? Because they didn't have the original uh, text file, so somebody had to transcribe that by quickly. hand. Yep. Quickly, and that's exactly what happened. I've done it a million times myself. Uh, but you, you can. Uh, all right, so you can see there's some differences there actually on the back of the box in terms of how it works because uh, you do not have adjusting the phaser setting dial to vary the firing sound. Well, I guess it I guess it does say that. It just doesn't have the same uh, yeah, so graphic it's a redesign on the back. here. It's not it's not completely one to one as much as the front is. All right. Well, all right. Then we've done enough spell check. Let's take a look at this, shall we? Anybody who's wondering, we this is the uh, the Leatherman Wave Wave Plus, I believe. Yes, there you go. Keith and Mike review stuff that's not Star Trek. All right, so we're coming in. Keith, thankfully, we do have an instruction sheet. Let's okay, see. Okay, great. Okay, yep. You can twist it. You can battery it. You can bip it. You can bop it. You can bip it and bop it. Here she is. All right. Oh. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Let's get our reference photo up here. Yeah. Now that was the other side of it. Now, of course, they're not. Okay, I I have a million questions about screw holes already, but we're seeing the stage left. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So that looks very, very similar on that end. Okay. It has a different trigger. It does it have appears. a different trigger. Although the way. trigger is, is similar. The box, right? The Playmates box from the 90s does have a trigger that is more reminiscent of the contemporary one. And let's go back to it. So now I'm, I'm curious about it. Because I've got it up... Yeah. And if yeah, if, and if you look at the back, it has an actual photograph of the phaser. Oof. Which does have a trigger like that. No, uh yeah, but not as long. Not as long. Okay. So, okay, so let's get in let's get in close here and see. Okay. I mean, so, it's it's uh, pretty plain Jane. My first thing, but that's the phaser, right? That's it is what it but is. But that's the phaser. Right. Yeah. I mean, let's this was this Here's was Here's uh, the uh, sort of egregious copywriting, but I guess it's not as bad cuz it's uh -huh. just on the handle there. At least it's in black, right? Okay. Uh I guess this is where our batteries go. You're not supposed go? to throw it out. That's where batteries go, which should be in there. Um all right, so that's clearly been redesigned. Okay, let's switch. let's Let's just play with all the buttons before we pick it apart and compare it to the original. Yeah, so we have off, on, and then demo. Demo, I guess, is what is for in inbox. It's for play. inbox, I bet. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is not a physical button here. Okay. Oh, it does blink. We got a blinky blink happening. Okay, that's fun. Okay, we've got. Uh, oh, that's really disappointing. Oh, it doesn't slide? It does not slide. So we're set permanently to zero here, folks. Oh, no. These That's no not... fun to shoot your brother. Oh, no. But we do have an I wonder if they did on the here. original one. 
Yeah, if you know, let us know below. Um, there's no twisty twist here. So outside of the right. trigger, outside of the trigger and the switch, on off switch, nothing is physically Well, the, the phaser setting dial, does that work? The Here? On the on the back where the light is, does that oh, yes, turn? Yes, it does. Okay, that's that's what changes the settings. But there's no indication to, uh, of which is which, so we're gonna have to just find out. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna fire up the. the uh, I'm gonna fire up the. The sounds. Overlord. The sounds. Okay, real let's quick. do it. Let me. What, how do I do this? Uh. Okay, you should hear this. <laughs> you All right, let's this. find out. All right, Before so we're starting on. Um, Maybe stun. I, I I bet all the way to the left will be stun. All right, all the way and to all the left. way the, all the way to the right will so be overlord. I'm not gonna point it at the camera. Let's see if we get a blinky blink up here. All right. Ooh, I don't. I didn't hear that as well as I think you hoped I would. But uh, we we do get some blinky lights. Oh, there we go. Oh no, that's overlord. Oh no, it's gonna blow up, Mike. Run! Oh no! Okay. Okay. Well, well so we that, learned that we, was we've learned something. Okay. okay. So that's Overlord. So now we're going to the middle. Oh, it, it, it does light blue when you switch it off when you switch it over. Oh, so Overlord. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Overlord it's red. is blinky red. Blinky red. That makes sense. Uh, copyright Keith and Mike Overlord. Um, <laughs> middle is blue. So what are we guessing? This is stun. Probably stun, right, but I was wrong see. before, so we'll see. Bring it up. Okay. Blue feels kind of stunny to me. I like the light. And that stays lit as long as you have the button depressed. So oh, the that's trigger. Cool. Yep. That, that would make sense. Yeah. Overlord was not that, right? Let's go back and check again. It was a blinky red. Blinky red. So what was the what was the front look? It was blink, it was blinky red on the front. All right. So that's I think that's kill. Yeah. So that's kill. The blue one is stun. Right. That's stun. And blinky red is overlord. Now, so here's so here's the the real question that I have. Uh, okay. Does it come apart like it's supposed to? So the black thing on the top is the the hand phaser, and you put these two together to make the full phaser. Now the the orange thing is listed as a lock release in the original. This so guy? if you push that in, that's supposed to release the no. lock on the top Absolutely part. Absolutely not. 100% no. So let's consult, did the, they... let's consult the directions. What say you? Ooh, that's weird. I don't do that. Does the, does the Playmates classic phaser... Press trigger to activate apart? phase sounds. Note that in overload mode... Overload mode... Pulling the trigger once will start the overload sequence. That is it. Nothing on the back to indicate that there is any way to lock release. Okay. That's interesting because I'm I'm wondering because it it at least the '90s one refers to it as a lock release, which makes me think that it would come apart. Um, can you Google quickly, like if it? If that was if that was possible i i am i'm actually checking out uh retro gamer vx's review of the original one on youtube uh check out our competitors he is he is now reviewing the original one and uh it looks like those dials do not move okay. up top like we were hoping uh and he does not Pull it apart. So I think maybe that never came apart. So maybe, or, maybe the that was their kind of original plan for it, and 
that's why the box is different because here they at least aren't making promises that they can't. They uh, realized it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they wanted to make their marketing well, set their marketing phasers to truthful. <laughs> well, I can guarantee that some of you folks uh, watching this have the original one and can answer that question. Um, but uh, a couple of other things, and while we're doing, you know, the sort of the review part here, that have changed from the '90s, and I think not for the better. Uh, show me, yeah, show me that side of it. So there are more screw holes. There are many more screw holes in this than the original. Uh, because on the top black part, which hypothetically should come off, there were no screw holes mm. in the original Playmates line. Plus there's a, there's a fourth one on the gray part that wasn't there originally. And the three on the bottom there, uh, they only had two it looks like that were much more hidden so the seams in this are actually much more pronounced in this phaser uh than the original 90s line if of course what's on the box was representative of what actually got out of production right um so that may or may not be true but uh yeah i mean those are not particularly well hidden screws i don't know why they had so many <laughs> I gotta Honestly, tell you, that's... I mean, the box is a little cooler because <laughs> it, it you see it in context. Um, yeah, the, the 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 figures, it's cool. I will say it, it feels good in hand. It's um, yeah, it's definitely lighter than you want it to be. I wish it had a little mm. more something something to it. Uh, a little more heft. Yeah, in a kid hand, probably great great kid toy. As like a collector's item, definitely not what you're looking for. Definitely a toy. Well, you. Which I know is yeah. is exact is what it is. So I, I'm not going to knock it for that. But I wouldn't come here expecting like a a replica phaser of any sort. This is not that. Well, and and I have a note about it, right? So for the collectors, if you're going to display it, right, have the screw holes on the other side because there are details. On the other side, the beam intensity thing and the lock release, which are part of the actual phaser, that are part of the details of the phaser. So if you're going to mount it on the wall, you're going to want to have all the details on it. But if you mount it with that side, it's got 10,000 screws on it. Well, and interestingly, not only that, it's got 10,000 screws plus the release for the battery. And then along the lines of your note, let me swap over. If you were to have the screws on the other side, that would go along with the fact that this is where the copyright is. So you'd get all right. the non-displayable stuff out of the way. All and on so the same have, side. Right, you'd have the kind that's, of thing. That's a very good point. I mean, yeah, I guess so if you like, kind of go at like a three-quarter angle view here, especially in demo mode where the pretty. lights are blinking, it's... I don't know. I, I don't know. That's uh, I, that's an odd choice. And it's a it's a choice that feels like not understanding how the collectors would use it, mm -hmm. right? Um, Satisfying also, sounds, you know what I mean? I'll give it, we'll give it one more go. Right. It's got a good mouth feel in your hand. Yeah, I, I do wish it, I mean, the batteries, I kind of give it the only half. Ted, if this was no, if there was no batteries in here, it would be really light. Mm. Um, so, so it feels kind of cheap in your hand? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> Yeah, a little bit. It's huh, going to be hardy, though. I mean, I don't see it. I mean, it's... This is kind of wiggly. Uh, actually, I just noticed that. It's got a thousand now. screws in it. You'd think it'd be a See, look a at brick. that. Look at that. There's a lot of play in that. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah, clearly... Sure is. There's a lot of play in that, which feels like it maybe comes off to, like, replace this, but I don't think this is, like, a serviceable... I mean, you're unit, never going to so. replace it. No, yeah. you're never going to, like, replace a piece like that. It's a, It's like a $15 toy. It's not. I believe these are twenty four dollars. Oof. So, yeah. Yeah. I okay. think I'm saying save your money for the figures. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks good from that side. Like if if you put it on your wall, and you're just showing that side, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, if you lit right. it right, you know. If you if you lit it right, it could be pretty cool with a bunch of others. Um, the copyright thing is so annoying. There's a ten trillion different places to put that that are less intrusive yeah you give um, us one of these you know what i mean yeah give yeah put it right there put it right there um 
Yeah, I don't know why it's it's so intrusive. It's pretty egregious compared to the one on the figures too. Like cause, I guess because they're going horizontal. And what is all? What is what is? Read me all of that. Why is why is there like three paragraphs of information there? This device complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. Uh, Operation is subject to the following conditions and then all this stuff. This device must okay. accept any interference received. All right. Uh, th- well, all right. So then that's like federally mandated language. Fair enough. Well, it's cool from the front. Let's see if we can get it. No, I don't want demo mode. Oh, I did that here. Okay, hold on. I want to be able to get a good shot of this, man. Hold on, let me take this toy. Yeah, yeah. Gonna give us a good pew pew. Yeah, all right. Well, that's cool. Yeah, man, it's pretty rad. All right. So. All right. Yeah, I mean, I I I see the appeal. Like, I don't. I mean, I, I put it this way, Mike. Uh, what are the odds you're going to be shooting Jen with it all the rest of the night? Uh, not unlikely. <laughs> okay, there it is. So that's so it. Look, they they want playability, and if you can't get the fa- if you can't shoot your wife with the phaser, why have one? So uh, yeah, and the cats. So all right, but we promised. Uh, I promised unbiased. So here's my you ready for yeah. my review. Yeah, let's hear it. Set your phasers to ho hum. Yeah. Yeah. I I I think that I I agree with you. It's you know, it's it's not so much that there are limitations, right? Because you're you're trying to sell it at toy prices. Right? This isn't the five hundred dollar one that's a mm-hmm. perfect screen accurate. Um you're they're they're by intent making these cheaply. Yeah. And making a lot of them and they're for kids, they're 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 to be played with. Um, they could make a beautiful one at a fifty dollar price point, but that's not what they're trying to do. Yeah, but so this is, I gotta confirm that though, because like this is half of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No, and and, and but I, I I get where they're going. Right? They're they're not trying to make the premium product. They're trying to make it, you know, reasonably affordable, um, and and playable with. So I I appreciate that. I get that. Um, I think that's that's what Playmates has always done, and that's why we're able to have 300 figures of the original line. So there are a lot of benefits to that, mm-hmm. and I see why that is um, valuable, and I appreciate that because I can't afford okay, <laughs> the fifty dollars so ones. I'm looking at I'm looking at the general price for 3D printed replicas mm-hmm. on Etsy yeah. are looking at like thirty dollars. The more hefty That's ones it. that are like oh. metal based look like they're seventy to seventy five dollars. So this is coming in well underneath those. This is at twenty four ninety nine yeah. on Amazon. Okay, so it's coming under. Yeah, and you know it has the lights and sounds, and that's really cool. Um, so with all of that said, I think what galls me about this—it doesn't gall me. It's not really that important. But I think what what makes this meh to me are the avoidable mistakes right it's the placement of the copyright language uh okay so you don't want to just you know stick it where no one can see it put it on the put it on the side with the screws why are the screws on the side of that why are there so many screws it's it it just like there's they're just ways that you could have done better with this without a tremendous amount of work or it's just a little bit of thought into how this would be used and displayed and played with, um, I think you could have avoided a lot of the mistakes here um, that you did better 20 years ago. Why is it worse? Right. <laughs> you know, like, if you're going to reduce, like, the the new figures, right? You can you can like the change, or you can not like the change, but they have been measurably improved. And you, you know you either wish they had or hadn't. I, I get it, but they're they're improved. The articulation is immeasurably better. The scale is better. Um, you know, like it or hate it, it's improved. This is worse. Yeah. Why is it worse? Uh, and I and and it's just it, and and it is it is the details that are worse. The basic thing is the basic thing, but in the same way that there's a typo in the destruction in in the description, the attention to detail got kind of lost here, and um, you know, you had thirty years 
to plan for this. You knew what the fans were going to be like. It's a star. It's a Star Trek toy. The details are everything, <laughs> right? It's all about the details. So, so put some thought into it and get them right, or or don't do it, right? right. So, um, you know, that's sad. Is it a bad toy? No, it's a perfect. It's a great. It's a perfectly fine. No, toy. it pew pews it, and it blinky blinks. Which when you're it a kid, it pew pews and blinky blinks. At. Right. If I'm twelve years old. I don't give a shit about screw holes. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the copyright thing. I want to shoot my brother. Yeah, right? I probably can't read the back of the box anyway. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like, and and so like whatever. Who cares? So, for as a as a kid, awesome, great, give it to me, pew pew, love it. As a collector, eh, you could do a little better. Yeah. So, keep. Uh, is my I'm, box going to be worth something now? It's open. I mean, but having the, uh, the the typo on the back, is that going to be in 50 years? Uh, from now? I find it unlikely they're going to reprint. Okay. I think, uh, I, I could be wrong, right? I don't know if they if they do a second printing, I'm sure they'll catch it. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. So, uh, all right. So, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle, Mike. Oh, I thought I had such a great pun with set your phasers to ho-hum. Can't we just use but, that? But, no. Well, but no, that's that can be the the title. But you you ha you have to go thumbs up, thumbs in the middle, thumbs down. I'm gonna give you one thumb up, and one thumb down. So thumb in the middle, thumb in the middle. So thumb in the middle, and I, it also gets a thumb in the middle for me. Uh, not as good as the figures we've looked at so far. Yep. Um, that said, I still want one. Yeah. So that's a. Uh, could be worse. <laughs> That's All right, it. So still want one. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because we're Star Trek marks, and you—they know if you like. Uh, I, I was I, my father once said, "I'm such a I, I collect Phil Simms memorabilia, the old Giants quarterback, because he was when I was the same age. He was the guy I imprinted. I loved it, and I would you know I've, still to this day collect anything that has Phil Simms anything. And my father was like." You know, I could just take a Sharpie and write a number 11 on a tennis ball and you'd buy it. And I think that applies also. Oh, I, it should to be noted too. Fans. You know what? Um, let me kind of go toy cam this way for you. Um, okay. Let me pull out. Let me see. Toy cam. It does stand on its own. I mean. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, which I guess, you know, is worth something, it's worth noting. Uh, well, and, and in case you're wondering, if Mike needs a reminder what his name is, boom, it's right there on his desk. You know, I made that in Woodshop, like, way back in the day. That's, uh... That's... Did you? Mm -hmm. Look, I, like, even, I just got a little shelf school. I'm going to start putting my guys on. Oh, that's great. Yep. Uh, here's the thing. When I, uh, started with the Playmates figures, I got a little shelf this big, mm -hmm. and I was like, that's all I'm ever going to need. Because I just have the next generation bridge crew. That's all that matters. I just get. I, I just. I just ordered one of the shelves. It came in a pack of two. I don't even need the second one. No. Now I have more shell. I have a wall of bookshelves back there. So these things. These things happen. They grow. All right. Well, folks, if uh, if you want more of this nonsense, check out patreoncom slash m Give us a like and a subscribe here on the YouTube's. Tell a friend. That's a uh, because the, the YouTube algorithm isn't like a big fan of like you know uh, this super niche stuff. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you could tell a friend who might be interested in this, it would really help us grow, and we very much appreciate it. Uh, we will be back next week with hopefully another Playmates 2022 figure or toy review. Fingers crossed, folks. Uh, we will see you back next week. Check out our Deep Space Nine show. Uh, lots of other fun stuff. So, uh, till then, this has been... Look at my Star Trek toys! <laughs> <laughs>